this is the Iron Bridge, which served as the target point for the atomic bomb drop. I stood on Iron Bridge and case as the atomic bomb drop. It's a bit surreal to see buildings destroyed by the atomic bomb mixed into the modern landscape. But they are strangely kept beating. Japan today is so peaceful that it's hard to imagine the horrific events that unfolded just 78 years ago. The atomic bomb dome is powerful up close, strangely speaking of the person. Next is the Student Mobilization Memorial Tower. It was built to honor the spirit of 10,000 students, including those who were mobilized for labor and fellow victims to the war. You probably folded a thousand people claims before. They were folded in belief that it would cure illness. These claims, along with the story of survivors like Setsuko Sasaki, who fought against illness case by the bomb and the children who perished, sent a message of peace to the world. Claims made by school children on field trips were also displayed here. This is a peace cannon statue erected as a farewell to Nakazima Homachi, almost entirely wiped out by the blast, and in remembrance of the victims. Here we have the peace pound with its printed water, and you can see the atomic bomb dome and the peace memorial museum in the distance. The cellular for the air bomber victims is especially striking as it's where these seven leaders have paid their respect. Now that we've worked through the Peace Memorial Park, I'd like to go inside the Peace Memorial Museum. It's truly moving to see so many visitors from around the world coming to Hiroshima. The only city to have experienced an atomic bombing to face this tragic history and reflect upon it. I hope more people get the chance to visit this place at least once in their life. Before the bombing, the city was just like any other, with ordinary everyday life, yet, in an instant, with a single atomic bomb, the city was obliterated. Is truly gruesome and terrifying. How long did it take for the people to recover from the loss of their everyday lives, which had been taken for granted? The souls of these who passed away, as well as those who lost their families and those who overcame this tragedy, are beyond measure. As the number of survivors dangerous, we found what we can do. That's why I created this video. I hope that by watching this video, People can feel something, reflect, and find the inspiration to think about what we should do and how we should like.